boxes here now. We decided to use two boxes because there's an awful lot of brood there, an awful lot of bees. So we're going to set that one aside for a minute. They won't go anywhere. And down in here, in both lots, we've got some lighter coloured eggs there, which may be princess eggs. Lots of open egg pods. Starting to get a little, little bit of a touch angry. Probably not overly happy, but it's better than someone coming in spraying them. As we said, the water meter reader said left a note. They've got to be out of there. End of story. And he refused to read the meter. I think he knew they were bees. I don't know why he was scared of them. We've got light coloured eggs up here. Got some pollen pots there and honey pots. Um, I think we're going to come down this way. A little bit around that meter. got to be really careful trying to get these that you don't squash things and particularly the brood there's some honey just leaking out it's okay to squash the honey but the brood the queen will be down in the brood somewhere too that feels quite deep this one so that might we've got a, we've got a pipe there going through to the house as well so we'll see how it lifts out from there a lot of grass in there from recent lifting and lawn mowing. And we'll get this bit with a bit of brood on. And set that aside with the other one for a moment. And see how this one's going to lift out. It's built around that pipe a little bit. I can feel the top of the pipe now, sort of sitting on top. And um, that's about right. I can feel that I'm right underneath the brood. I'm into some more honey and um, propolis and some pollen, which is all down in there. You can see the wet honey. And that's the, oops, don't want to blow the bees off, but um, that's the main brood there. So I will set that in the box. Um, I like to get them a little bit close to the entrance hole where they're going to eventually come out. They'll build a nice tunnel once that plug's removed and they're let loose and released. They'll build a nice propolis tunnel from that hole through to the egg brood. That should not rock too far, won't move at all in the car ride. So that's quite good. We might pop that bit back in with them. And we'll just set that down there they'll re reconstruct um, we'll just pop the lid on top of that for now and we'll have a look at this other one and we might get some extra propolis uh, the more bees we can get the better to stop them <coughs> rebuilding as much as possible we have a poor old water meter reader Obviously really panicked by them. Poor little fella. I hope he watches this video to realise he's not going to get killed. He's going to lift out now. Just a little bit there. A little bit under that end. Lift that up. This is all propolis around the outside there. And we've got another nice piece of brood here. This is probably a species called um, Hocking's Eye. It has a sort of flat laid process of brood. It's got no mesh in the bottom, but there's no honey dripping out there, so that's okay. I'll position that, the hole's blocked off sideways, so it can't rock. And I'm just gonna get this nice little bit of brood. 
here. Pop it in. They'll shift that and repair it to where they want it. Propolis is okay to drop in. We just don't want massive bang the box on it. Honey pots. A little bit of pollen there, that bit won't hurt. And see so if we bit of brood there, more white eggs. It's mainly propolis, that won't hurt at all. And that's really all that needs to go in that box. So, we'll grab that other lid there. 